everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Today I'm going to show you how to control AC devices with your RFID123 Kickstarter link below. What I've got here is a uh, an extension cord, uh, and what I've done is I've cut one end. Uh, in this case, I don't know if it's hot or neutral. Electrical code says that you have to switch on hot, but really if you switch on neutral, uh, it will still work just fine. So I, what I've done is I've cut one of the wires and I've stripped away the insulation. So if this extension cord were to work properly, I really need for those two leads to be reconnected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the relays on the RFID 123 to internally connect those when the relay is activated by an RFID card. So what we're going to do is, once we've made all the connections, we're going to connect the male end into mains. In my case, it's 100, 120 volts AC at 60 hertz. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're in a, a region where uh, you use 240 volts at 50 hertz. It doesn't matter. We're just using the relay as a high-powered switch. So what we'll do is we'll plug our load. In this case, it'll be a lamp into the female outlet. We'll connect mains to the wall. Now again, if, uh, I want to mention this before before we get started. If you don't have any experience with, with uh, AC, have someone else with you who knows what they're doing uh, beforehand. This is a simple connection, this simple connection, but you can really hurt yourself if you're not careful. So please keep that in mind. So let's bring out the RFID 123 and make the connections. Both relays, this is relay 1, this is relay 2. We're going to use relay 1. Uh, these are the relay outputs, NC, CO, and NO. By default, when the relay is not is uh, turned off, deactivated, the common pin CO is connected internally to the NC pin. Uh, and when the relay is activated, the CO pin, the common pin, disconnects from the normally closed pin and connects to the normally open pin, NO. So basically, if we take one of our leads, place it in the common pin, and the other wire in the NO pin, when the relay is activated, those two pins will connect together internally and basically complete the circuit, the AC circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the NO and NC contacts, or sorry, NO and NCO contacts, and I'm going to make sure that the wire is nicely uh, twisted so that it fits in the hole. Shove it in there, tighten it, and make sure it's very tight. Make sure that none of the wire is showing, and do the exact same for the common pin. I'm just going to skip ahead. The connections have been made. So now if I plug my lamp in to the female end, then, and I plug my male end into uh, mains power, when I use the RFID card that corresponds to output 5 slash relay 1, and I have this header connected with a jumper, that relay is now active. So when I use an RFID card that corresponds to output 5, this relay will turn on and so should my lamp. So let's make those connections. First things first, I've tested my lamp and I've made sure that the switch is in on position. And I'm going to take the power outlet or the uh, the AC wire from uh, from the lamp and I'm going to plug it in to the female end of our modified extension cord. Of course I'll make sure that my RFID module still has the antenna out so I still have access to it. Now I'll plug the other end of the modified uh, of the modified um, extension cord into the wall and then I'll power on my RFID uh, 1, 2, 3. So I've pre-programmed uh, the cards in. I've got my Relay 1 jumper connected and this is my card that corresponds to output 5. Now I'm in latching mode right now and of course I'm going to give you a better view of this in a second but here's my card my AC lamp is on and off now I'll stop it so you have a better view RFID card and so all that relay is doing, that relay is isolated, the switch contacts are completely isolated from the rest of the board the digital circuitry controls the relay but the control portion of the relay versus the switch part of the relay are completely isolated. I'm energizing the relay and uh, the coil, which creates a magnetic field which pulls the two contacts together. So again, I'll turn it off. Now those terminal block pins are live, and this is where the danger comes in. If you don't have this mounted properly, 
um, and you're just careless and you touch those contacts, you'll give yourself a nasty shock. So when you're connecting your AC device, you want to make sure that there's little to no wire at all exposed. You want to make sure that there's just insulation that's visible, and you don't want to put your fingers anywhere near that, the, that relay contact. Because as soon as you plug in the modified um, extension cord, that's live. And so this is controlling AC with your RFID 123. Now, I wouldn't go controlling your microwave with it because that's a heck of a lot of power. And the traces on the, re on the relay, which are very thick, aren't thick enough for that. I wouldn't go past 50 or 60 watts. I believe this, is, this uh, lamp is about 40 watts. So it's that simple. It doesn't take long. If you haven't checked out the RFID 123, uh, check, out, check out the link below. There's a, a tutorial video on how it's used. Uh, some different application. There are some different application videos, especially in the product updates. So check it out, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.